Hello Aries, welcome. This is Ascended Stars, Ali Jade with your November reading right before the new moon in Scorpio. Good news is Mars it has gone direct into your sign and also um, Mercury it has gone out of shadow. So you might be more clear headed. You might know exactly how to move. Okay. We have the Eight of Swords. Well, you're still stuck on something. Something's got you. You're still stuck in your head? Even though, okay. And then you're defensive. Well, it, it is only the first day. So let's put that back in there and see if it comes back in. But um, for the most part, things are moving ahead. Things are moving forward. And you have this new moon energy. But, you know, we still have the eclipse on the 18th. So I've been getting a lot of information from the other readings I've done where the total change is more towards after the 18th because a lot of people, there's like this portal of, of people letting go or and or people trying to stop other people from moving on. There's a lot of weird energy here. Okay, so let's see my loves. Also, if you um, aren't so inclined, you can always donate to my channel. I really would appreciate that. It's cash up ven 111 ven but um you know it's a great energy exchange for both of us and i appreciate you so much aries you know i really do okay so let's see what we have this is in uh spanish but these these cards are really resonating for me this month morgan greer so just don't look at the you know the definitions i can give it to you i know what it's saying Okay, so we have Six of Pentacles, beautiful energy, Queen of Pentacles reversed, Knight of Cups, Eight of Wands, oh, see, ten, a cycle's ending where you were betrayed here, Five of Wands, so Ten of Swords, another Ten of Wands, I knew a lot of completions are happening right now, but they're really kind of painful completions in all honesty. <clears throat> King of Swords and Eight of Swords. You have a lot of sword and fire energy with a little bit of pentacle. No water. There's no water on the table. Okay. Pisces is retrograde, but somehow all the fire is consuming it and being in your head is... Cons well, you're not in your head. You're you're done with that. You're done with that energy. You're going to... Okay, so what I, what I see here is... Um, there seems to be some information that's going to come and really be heartbreaking information. Ten of Swords. It's going to put you on the defense. It's somebody like trying to get over on you. And perhaps, you know, it feels like the battle, they won the battle, but you, Aries, are going to win the war. But I feel like they won the battle. And this has drained you. This could be an air sign. It could be Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Ew. And I also feel this person is still trying to... Um, like they like to see you suffer. They, they like to see you uncomfortable. Yeah, they like to see you uncomfortable and in, in a place of... Um, in a burdensome place, in a place of discomfort, let's say. I'm almost picking up extortion or blackmail. Like some, okay, so it could be this woman that you slept with. Damn! Could be with somebody that you slept with that's Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn, who um, is a prostitute. You know, she is like, sells her body. Like she's easy woman. Easy Woman. You know that song, Easy Woman? There's a song like that, right? I hear it. Okay, it's it's, it's an older 70-something song. Um, yeah, man, I hear it in the background. And I see the road. I feel the road. Okay, so this person... I feel like they're not in your immediate group. I feel like... Okay, that's a side story. That's a very weird side story for someone. Okay. A lot of this masculine energy is coming out in my readings and I'm reading like I'm reading, I'm talking like I'm talking to the masculine, even though I know I have a feminine collective, 
but it's just weird because there's so much of the masculine I'm, I'm picking up on like their, their nastiness their you know, uh, my sign's going to be going into the South node. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be changing up the channel and, um, yeah. So anyway, that's a side note, but listen, I don't know why. Okay. This is, let's just, let's look at some clarifiers. Why don't we do that? Why don't we clarify some of this stuff here? Definitely need to clarify that 10 of swords. You got stabbed, betrayed. You feel very hurt by this. And now you're trying to carry on. But this person is still got their guard up. They're defending. They're holding their stance. And it puts you in a place of like um, not trusting yourself. Or you you just came from this place where you're not trusting yourself. You're really stuck on... Okay, there's another message coming through. I am going to refer to the men, okay? But this is what I, I got. I feel like... Oh, God, what was that message I just got? I'm trying to explain myself. Shit. Okay. What I... Let me get it back. Um, I feel like... What I pick up is... You might, okay, there's, there's a couple messages. This isn't the message, but this is another message coming in. You might see something coming in through the internet or somebody tells you something about someone, okay? This someone, they, they could say, oh, she's a cam girl. Okay, so maybe, you know, she's promiscuous, okay? Not a cam girl, not, not everybody's going to understand that, but I feel like some of the Aries men are going to discover that they have been involved with somebody who um, is using them for their money. And I think they're stuck. They're, they're like now stuck like, oh, wow, I don't believe you. So they're defensive towards everybody because they don't believe that this person. This OK, so this could be the mother of. OK, wow, I don't know. OK, so maybe I'm, I'm for the feminines. I feel like. Your man is defending someone, okay? Your man is defending a mother who is taking money from them, okay? Who want, only uses them to take money because emperors have money, okay? So I feel like that's for somebody out there. <clears throat> and the story goes on. So the story goes that this person defends themselves. This person like... Oh, honey, I would never do that. That's not me. I wouldn't take from you. Like, the, this person uh, lies. Lies in your face, okay? And they're defending themselves. And you are on that person's side. Like, uh, but actually now you're coming to see, like, maybe I should just let this play out. Maybe I should watch. Like, this is about being too... This is also an energy of, of coming to... Okay, so be careful. Wow. Okay. Be careful going to somebody's defense. Oh, that person did this to me. Oh, they hurt me. Oh, they they slandered my name. Oh, they said that I stole money. Oh, like something weird. Like some, And you're going to go to their defense, it feels like. Or you... This already played out. And it, it seems like your pride is in the way, so you can't step down from it. Like, you can't be like, oh, well, actually, that person is a thief. Like, it's weird. Oh, my God. All right. So maybe the, the whole energy is like, stop defending people. Stay, you know, stay in, in your lane. <laughs> um, Don't get involved with other people. They're going to get you into their chaos, their mess. Okay, so... Yeah, somehow you, okay, so I feel like you defended or you gave money to someone and this person is like of low character, um, but you didn't see it, okay? You really didn't see it. This person may come for an apology. They may come for an apology. I don't know if I, I, I really don't. It's like a weak ass apology. It's kind of like, 
it's kind of like they intentionally got you there and then they're like oh sorry like this like oh it's just horrible energy it's horrible energy again that was from the beginning where i said they like to see you um uncomfortable or uh challenged stuck um this person is okay just let me just this person is not out for your good they're out to get what you have your abundance your money your goods your car <laughs> yeah this person is effing cold like you got the king of swords twice so you might be going through legal matters that somebody wants to slander your name somebody wants to say that you're a bad parent when they're really the bad parent what they do they're saying you do and you could be married to this person pentacle you could be married to this person this is typically a good wife who's you know she's got your back she's your die or ride and you thought this person was your die or ride but they're not i know this is for the collective of my um females but the miss masculine's taken over this masculine Aries energy is taking over. And yeah, I don't know what to tell you. Okay, let's tell me about this. Oh my God, this is a trickster. I feel somebody's even capable of lying in court. This is a great manipulator, the magician great manipulator they can manipulate whoa are they good with this one is very good with this words wow this one this one has things to back it up they sound so so uh informed they sound so knowledgeable this is a lot you didn't know what you were getting into when you involved yourself with this person what the fuck guys the hell they want your money you're waiting for communication and when you finally got this information it's very it's almost like i pick up the this thing doesn't go for you it doesn't Again, they might have won the battle, but Hanny, you will win the war. You will win the war. But we do have Mars in its dignity in Aries, Saturn in its dignity in Capricorn. Um, but this is, and then we have Libra that just went, Mercury just went direct in Libra. So now this person's very good with their words, okay? So if there's something about they want to stump you up with your words, watch your words. They might use your words against you. Yeah, I'm hearing a lot of legal stuff here. Um, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you can and will be used against. <clears throat> <coughs> oh my God, they want to close my throat. Did you hear that? Hold on. It's legal matters. Maybe it's an undercover cop. Page of Pentacles. This is a young person. This could be a young earth sign this could be your child this could be the child of the pentacle of the of the woman who's um okay so maybe you're getting maybe maybe you got involved with somebody underage or they're saying you did something to a child hierophant this is a big spiritual lesson could be a taurus no more earth this is a big spiritual lesson okay something's coming down where you're learning a big spiritual lesson Spirit, can you clarify any of this? Yeah, you're, you've been, this is traumatizing. You're like, damn, I got, it's like you went into the mouth of the lion, the mouth, of, like you went into the, the raging inferno and like, you didn't know, you didn't know this person was going to be smooth talker and turn their back on you and that they were working against you and you were actually, um, financing it. <laughs> What the hell? Okay, so something's very much coming to light. The fifth house. This is passion. This is, over, you know, going overboard with the passion. Not, and it's not like overboard here, but it's like it has to do with your passion. It has to do with something about, you know, I don't know. 
this is very cryptic okay let's do the sibyllas all right we're gonna get the sibyllas right now i know you're here definitely for the ten of swords i'm like dying and itching here to find out i'm not itching but um jumping to find out what the hell is this why is the Ten of Swords here for Aries reading, Spirit? Why is the Ten of Swords here for Aries reading? Okay, yeah, we know. We get it. That's sad. Melancholy. You're still not over something. You let something fester here. Because it's been false, okay? So somebody that, that was very sexually promiscuous would do anything for money. And, um, and maybe you represent the money joyfulness wow they were not really doing it because they liked you they were doing it because they were looking for the money honey that's what i really pick up constantly um sick what the fuck? loyalty Aries, it's like you didn't trust your gut or you, you didn't serve sorrow. Yeah, honey, I, I hate to tell you, but it was like spirit was trying to give you information. And it was like, you know, maybe you heard something. I heard it through the grapevine is what I hear. Like you heard something about someone and you still continued it. You still were like, no, I'm still going to invest with this person. And this person... Could be a financial matter, okay? This person now has you in the four of swords energy. And um, you're paying a high price here. You know, you feel backstabbed. You feel left out in the cold. Your money could be on hold. Like, I feel like assets are frozen or something as well. Um, let's do the eight of swords. Yeah, this is the final countdown. This is the new moon. So this is all coming to light. And um, this is over. Okay, this connection is over. It's suffered. Uh, there's fear here about... You still have fear because maybe this person has info on you. Maybe this person does have some um, screenshots of something or something about you. And it has to do with somebody quite young here. All right, let's let's continue here. Okay, so the six, so this cycle's got to go. You got the you got the major arcana. This cycle's ending. You worked with this person. You worked with this person. This person was like, oh, let's work together. Let's build something. Knight of Swords. This person's spying on you. They got some. They might with this with this here. I feel like a child is being used to give information, okay? I feel like this child was like there and you might have said stuff and then, then this child goes to their mother who's not a nice person, who's very greedy, who um, does things with ulterior motives. Okay, so now you have a new emotion coming in, the Ace of Cups. Now you feel, you, you feel some kind of way now, not the way you used to. Three of Cups, There's it could be a threesome. This could be about a threesome. This woman's like, well, I'm divorcing him because all he did was have threesomes or something, you know. And he has them in front of my child. Like, it's just weird, weird stuff going on here. And the, um, again, <laughs> the Page of Swords. Because we have two Rider Waite decks here. But this is, you know, different pictures. Five of Wands. Okay, let me get another one for that. Oh, man, this is not good. You're going to have to pay out. You're going to have to pay out in a marriage. Okay, this is what it's seeing. Somebody's going to have... So if you're the person watching and you're the Aries woman, you're going to get the child support. Let's say, like, somebody owes you money for child support. You're going to get it, okay? This man has been um, quite cold. He's been telling lies. He's been dragging his feet, okay? Maybe he wanted this divorce for quite some time. This man's a trickster. He did not want to go into court. 
Okay, he did not. He left you out in the cold with your kid. He is effing a jerk. Okay, he pays for his attorney. He he maybe he might have. I'm picking up. He might have locked you out of the house. Like he might have. He might do crazy stuff. Okay. Wow. Okay, my Aries. This is coming together, but let's still continue. Okay, this has been a really heavy burden, but you're going to be victorious. Okay, the end of this cycle, you, my beautiful divine feminine Aries. This is a cycle. You're smart enough. You're gonna. You're going to win the case. Okay, even though this guy has attorneys and he's got whatever, like legal help and friends. And here's a Knight of Pentacles. On the upright. Why is this here? Why is the Knight of... Uh, I mean the King of Pentacles, excuse me. So this is... This person has money in their, their own business, okay? And they don't want to let go of that money. So they're hold, they're, they hired an attorney, it feels like, to um, hold on to their money. It's a hard worker. So they, there's a journey here that Aries needs to go on. A fear of, yeah, of, of, of letting go of this connection, okay? Um, this is a spiritual lesson. Yeah, this person is a good provider, good, has, has, tangible things but they are not very loving they might have been i don't know like what they did like there's no love the love is lost okay there's no love so somebody's got to go on a journey they fear the spiritual um this connection somebody doesn't want to let go okay somebody's here doesn't want to let go they're holding on tight. Okay, so this for my Aries. The other person doesn't want to let go. They got these attorneys. They're telling you no. They're intimidating. They're like a bully. Okay, but this thing is dead now. It's dead now. Okay, it's dead now. Okay. You're going to have victory here. Anything more? I mean, I got some Let's. I got some cards pulled for you because I thought, oh, we'll have some kind of reading. But I knew I was going to be like this. Okay, give me more energy here. What about these three of cups? This person. Complacency. Okay, so somebody was stepping out. And somebody was like, yeah, I'll just let them step out. But I don't think spirit wants you to be in this connection. Like, somebody's saying, no, you can't be like this. Like, maybe your mother allowed that kind of stuff. Or you grew up, your parents seeing that, you know, one stepped out. And this is like a life lesson you have to learn. Like, no, you need to leave. Like, you can't. You can't control someone. Um, you can't, I mean, of course you can't control somebody, but you can't live in this time. They don't want you to live in this energy. Wisdom. Use your higher wisdom. Okay. You're very wise. Victim. Okay. This puts you into victimhood mentality. Yeah. So somebody has been like, I'm the victim. They cheat on me. They leave me. Now they want, now they, they've been doing it and they don't even care. They're cold. And they're very comfortable going in and out. And now you're like, well, you know, maybe the grass is greener somewhere else. I'll have to, you know, make it on my own. And I won't have all the resources. But I don't need this. Um, I don't need this. Yeah, I think I dropped a card. Hold on. I dropped a card. What card is it? Trickery. Oh, my God. The card is trickery. Somebody's trick. Again, I sense this trickery. Okay, so I feel like out of these three women, one of these women that your your husband might have gotten involved in is very conniving. Um, she's slutty. She's disgusting. I don't know what to tell you. She may not treat your child right. She's just saying all these things, okay? And so now you're like, no, I don't want my kid around this woman or something like that. And you're like, now you're just, you know. And so it's like you let something go for too long you let it go for on for too long you could have nipped it in the bud but you never decided to do that damn i get so upset when i get these readings because i get i'm not that type of woman like i'm the kind of woman like you fucking cheat once man fuck you <laughs> i'm sorry it's scorpio season so i am not gonna apologize so amethyst is going to be really good 
So it's a protective stone with high spiritual vibration. It guards against psychic attack. So you've been psychically attacked. This woman could be psychically attacking you. You're the wife. You're the you're the you're the committed person. Okay, you've been in a committed connection relationship. Somebody has psychically attacked my Aries here. Okay, and it's transmuting the energy into love. So you you've been. I think that you have let somebody cheat on you and do this kind of. Uh, in and out behavior for far too long and you psychically hoovered some stuff that now it makes you feel bad now it makes you feel like a victim it's like you kind of knew what you were doing and i don't know aries but you guys know what you're doing but you just didn't see it like this person um was a good provider or something like you couldn't see it all right so tranquil okay so transmuting the energy into love a natural tranquilizer balances out highs and lows promoting emotional centering it dispels anger rage fear and anxiety that's what you need this is amethyst i'm talking about alleviating sadness grief and supports coming to terms with loss oh my love promotes love of the divine and spiritual wisdom it cleanses the aura and transmute negative energy stimulates the throat and crown chakra Go to his bank account and get yourself a big fat amethyst, okay? And and put that near your bed. Get little ones um, to put in your bra. Don't let this MF come in and, and psychically, don't let nobody psychically attack you. But that one's really a good one. So that's what the info is. Now, the next one that I got, the last card for you, which I picked personally, and I thought, oh, this would be great for Aries, is calcite. So calcite is glossy. And it says, energy, vitality, enhanced memory, study, communication, expansion. Your energy levels are on the increase and you will soon feel a newfound sense of vitality and enthusiasm for life. Don't forget, I said Mars has gone into your sign. So this is all accumulative picking up. You should already feel it. I mean, I felt it. Um, as an, ex an exciting new venture is in store, you will find yourself communicating your ideas and feelings to others with clarity and certainty. People will pay attention and will want to be part of your venture. Calcite is also about the expanded awareness which stems from knowledge, study, and learning. This magical crystal will assist you in your studies and enhance your memory. It will also help you to put your knowledge to good use in ways that expand the possibilities of your life. Okay, so that's beautiful. And I guess that's all I got. I'm just going to leave. Oh, well, I do want to leave you some of these. Where are they? Yeah. Conscious this conscious life i can't remember but let me give you some of these these are beautiful this one wants to come out reversed but i'm not going to take oh the present wow look at that so fiery it says i am full i fully experience every moment of my life by living in the present yeah you have to face you got to face your demons honey you got to just grab the bull by the horns and be ready to move on into a better chapter that's coming this is done okay this just is a learning experience you are not going to lower your power lower yourself aries you're too beautiful too bright too much of a spiritual warrior and i love you so much all right thank you for being here i hope this has been helpful i know it's cryptic some of the parts might have uh, resonated and some of them not take what does and leave behind what doesn't you are just too precious on this earth to let anybody dim your light and um all my info is down below and if you give this a thumbs up i'd appreciate the energy exchange take care of yourself much love and light blessings to you bye, -bye.